Janet Jackson is an American singer, songwriter, producer, actress, author, and dancer. She's noted for her innovative, socially conscious, and sexually provocative records, as well as elaborate stage shows. Her sound and choreography became a catalyst in the growth of MTV, enabling her to rise to prominence while breaking gender and racial barriers in the process. Lyrical content, which focused on social issues, set her reputation as a role model for youth. Having sold over 100 million records, Janet Jackson is one of the world's best-selling music artists. She's amassed an extensive catalog with singles such as Nasty, Rhythm Nation, That's the Way Love Goes, Together Again, and All for You. She holds the record for the most consecutive top 10 entries on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Singles Chart with 18. She's also the only artist in the history of the chart to have seven commercial singles from one album peak within the top five positions. That album was Rhythm Nation 1814. In 2008, Billboard placed her number seven on its list of the Hot 100 all-time top artists, and in 2010 ranked her fifth among the top 50 R&B hip-hop artists of the past 25 years. In December 2016, the magazine named her the second most successful dance club artist after Madonna. Janet Jackson is one of the world's most awarded artists. Her accolades include 11 Billboard Music Awards, 5 Grammy Awards, 11 American Music Awards, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and 8 Guinness World Record entries. In 2019, she was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's been cited as an inspiration among numerous performers and credited with elevating a standard of sound, showmanship, and sex appeal expected of pop stars. Janet Jackson has an estimated net worth of 200 million US dollars. About Janet Jackson's early life Janet Demita Jo Jackson was born on May 16, 1966, in Gary, Indiana. She's the youngest of 10 children of Catherine Esther Jackson, who was born in 1930, and Joseph Walter Jackson, who was born in 1928 and died in 2018. The Jacksons were lower middle class and devout Jehovah's Witnesses, although Janet would later refrain from organized religion. Janet had initially desired to become a horse racing jockey or entertainment lawyer, with plans to support herself through acting. Despite this, she was anticipated to pursue a career in entertainment and considered the idea after recording herself in the studio. At the age of seven, Janet Jackson with brother Randy performed a skit on TV and a month later would perform at the MGM Casino on the Las Vegas Strip. A biography revealed that her father, Joseph Jackson, was emotionally withdrawn and told her to address him solely by his first name as a child. She began acting in the variety show The Jacksons in 1976. In 1977, she was selected to have a starring role as Penny Gordon Woods in the sitcom Good Times. She later starred in A New Kind of Family and later got a recurring role on Different Strokes, portraying Charlene Dupre from seasons 3 to 6. She also played the role of Cleo Hewitt during the fourth season of Fame, but expressed indifference toward the series, largely due to the emotional stress of her secret marriage to R&B singer James DeBarge. Janet Jackson is 5 feet 4 inches tall, or 1.63 meters tall. About Janet Jackson's personal life In September 1984, at the age of 18, Janet Jackson eloped with singer James DeBarge. The marriage was annulled in November 1985. In 1987, she began dating dancer, songwriter, and director Rene Elizondo Jr. On March 31, 1991, Janet Jackson married Elizondo Jr., and the marriage was kept a secret until the split was announced. In January 1999, the couple separated and were divorced in 2000. Elizondo Jr. filed the lawsuit against her, estimated to have been between $10 to $25 million, which didn't reach a settlement for three years. From 2002 to 2009, Janet Jackson dated music producer, rapper, and songwriter Jermaine Dupri. In 2010, she met Qatari businessman Wissam Almana and began dating him shortly after that. The couple became engaged and married privately in 2012. In 2016, she announced that they were expecting their first child together. On January 3, 2017, she gave birth to a son, Isa Almana. In April 2017, it was announced that the couple had separated and were pursuing a divorce. About Janet Jackson's career Janet Jackson began her career with the variety television series The Jacksons in 1976 
and went on to appear in other television shows throughout the 1970s and early 1980s, including Good Times, Different Strokes, and Fame. When she was 16, her father and manager, Joseph Jackson, arranged a contract for her with A&M Records. Her debut album, Janet Jackson, was released in 1982, and it peaked at number 63 on the Billboard 200 and number 6 on the publication's R&B Albums chart, receiving very little promotion. The album appeared on the Billboard Top Black Albums of 1983, while Janet Jackson herself was the highest-ranking female vocalist on the Billboard year-end Black Album Artists. Her second album, Dream Street, was released two years later. Dream Street reached number 147 on the Billboard 200 and number 19 on the R&B Albums chart. The lead single, Don't Stand Another Chance, peaked at number 9 on Billboard's R&B Singles chart. Both albums consisted primarily of bubblegum pop music. She became a pop icon following the releases of her third and fourth studio albums, Control in 1986 and Rhythm Nation 1814 in 1989. In 1991, she signed the first of two record-breaking multi-million dollar contracts with Virgin Records, establishing her as one of the highest-paid artists in the industry. Prior to her first studio project with Virgin Records, she appeared in her first of several lead film roles in Poetic Justice in 1993. Her fifth and sixth studio albums, Janet in 1993 and The Velvet Rope in 1997, saw her develop a public image as a sex symbol. These records, along with their promotional music videos and live performances and concert tours, branded Janet Jackson as one of the world's most erotic performers, garnering both criticism and praise. By the end of the 1990s, she was named by Billboard magazine as the second most successful recording artist of the decade after Mariah Carey. The release of her seventh studio album, All For You, in 2001, coincided with a celebration of her impact on the recording industry as the subject of the inaugural MTV Icon special. The backlash from the 2004 Super Bowl 38 halftime show controversy resulted in an industry blacklisting under the direction of Les Moonves, then CEO of CBS Corporation. Janet Jackson subsequently experienced reduced radio airplay, televised promotion, and sales figures from that point forward. Her eighth studio album, Demita Joe, was released in 2004, and her ninth studio album, 20YO, was released in 2006. After parting ways with Virgin Records, she released her 10th studio album, Discipline, in 2008, her first and only album with Island Records. In 2015, she partnered with BMG Rights Management to launch her own record label, Rhythm Nation, and released her 11th studio album, Unbreakable, the same year. Since then, she's continued to release music as an independent artist. About Janet Jackson's real estate. In 1998, Janet Jackson paid $2.8 million for a three-bedroom, 2,100-square-foot apartment in New York City's One Central Park West building. In April 2022, Janet listed this unit for sale for a little under $9 million. About Janet Jackson's car collection Janet Jackson owns or has owned a white Lamborghini Murcielago LP640, a white Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4, a white Bentley Continental GTC, and an Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. Well, thanks for watching today. Remember to give us a like, especially if you're a Janet Jackson fan, and share this video with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We don't want you to miss out on any great celebrity content.